all have those pieces of furniture, right? We're like, what should I do with that? What should I do with that? What should I do with that? Um, and it just, it hit me. We were looking for a piece of furniture to do some inline project with today. And it hit me that this is what I want to do with the gate legs. So let's do my birthday table in the indigo floral. Mm -hmm. And we're going to get started. So basically we are going to lay these into a fresh coat of paint. We pre coated it with a slightly different color. Okay, which is a little bit of a technique. Rather than doing the same color, we're going to pull a little texture by using a little bit of contrast in the base coat, which is all nice and dry. I would call this a light dub gray, and we are going to go over it with a creamy soft white, mm -hmm. and we're going to layer inlays in them. We've already trimmed them. Now, a couple little pointers when you're trimming your inlays is a rotary cutter and cutting mat and straight edge work awesome. That's the preference. Don't use, if you can avoid it. A razor it, knife. A razor knife, <laughs> because it wants to pull the paper. It doesn't That's use that really she knows. clean edge, exactly. Mm -hmm. the, so we are going to put these on the top of this beautiful drop leaf table. And you wanna work in sections that are about the size of each of the sheets. So about 12 by 16. And let's go ahead and get started and lay our paint in. Okay. We're going to focus mostly on this front side so that we can get the most visible part done during this video. And then any continuation will align the pattern that way. I like to, there's different ways you can do it. You can start from one end and go over. You can start from the center. You can wing it. You can put marks. So lots of different ways to do that. Um, do you want to start from this side and move this way? Sure. Okay. That is, especially if you're working with the repeat pattern that doesn't have any really big, um, a smaller repeat pattern, you're not going, you're going to have less waste that way because if you start from the center out, you'll have trim on each side of the last sheets, if that makes sense. So let's go ahead and do that. And remember, um, we're going to cover the whole thing though. Right, yeah. right. Okay. So I'm thinking we're going to start from that end and we're going to start from this seam, which is also okay. kind of nice because that's landing on a seam oh. is, yeah, it help, you don't have to deal with that's one less seam. Does it matter way. how thick the paint is? Yeah, you want a medium coat. Okay. You want it to stay wet until you get that sheet on there. While you're doing that, I'm going to dampen the sheet that we lay down ahead of time. We're going to take it, we're going to lay it face down on a surface like one of our, um, what are these called? Thin mounts. So we're going to spritz it with a light mist of water. We don't want it puddled, we just want to dampen it. So I've got this, this is on a thin mount face, pigment side down, grid side up, and it's easy to swap them, so pay attention to that. Boom, boom. And we are going to do this, and it'll start to soak it up and expand a bit. You'll see it kind of get some buckling happening in it. We are going to just lay that right there. Do you want it to go all the way to the edge? You do, huh? So yeah. Let's go like that, leaving enough to wrap that edge. And now we're going to pull it a little bit. Okay. Smooth it a little bit. And when it's damp, you're going to notice it has a little bit of stretch to it and you can use that to your advantage as you're laying it down. And right now the goal is to get it inlaid into the paint nicely without Ooh. moving it around too much. Now I am going to use this, it's just damp, just to give it a wipe down. Nice, and then just make sure my edges are down. Boom, boom. So I'm going to use this and start tamping that down and curling it around the edge. Perfect. We'll trim the excess. Oh, this is going to be pretty. Later. I'll start painting the next section. There we go. Now, 
we are doing all of these at once. Before we pull the first one, we've laid the last one. And if you go over a tiny bit on that first sheet, it's okay because the paper is protecting the pigment. Let me make sure I'm laying it the right direction. And yes. And we're just lining those up and butting right up to it. Okay. You can see here, oh, it's just a smidge higher. Let's just, there we go. It's got some nice stretch to it. Okay. Okay, you know what? And you can see as it dries the difference. So oh, this is a great learning moment, two sheets. guys, because look at meeting Jesse messed up. <laughs> I did this on purpose. So keep that on there, sis, because I'm going to fix it right now. Well, first show them what? So there's no, there's see, no paint. There's no paint. There's right no there. paint right there. So I didn't do it enough. So we're going to just do this. Okay. Right. And then we are going to get in there and get that coated properly. Lay it back down. All right, now we are going to do the same thing here as we did over there. And I'm spraying this one now. There we go. Very nice. So you can see just, see just working up that seam. And then we just have the bottom, the bottom left. Curl this right around. Yes. So we're just going to put this little piece right here. I could have trimmed that closer had I measured, um, but we'll just have a little excess there. No big deal. And now we go in and get those two corners. This goes here. There we go. And then what's cool is, I believe, that goes there. All right, you just sit right there and fill that spot, you pretty little thing. I love the good close-up shots. There we go. So now is the fun part. Mm -hmm. Well, it's my favorite part. It's, and it's pulling it the is paper fun. It's so satisfying. and leaving the pigment in that coat of paint. Yes. I have a water bottle, just a spritz water bottle, and I have some shop towels that are in a little tub with a little water so they're nice and damp. Mm -hmm. Because before we pull these, we want to make sure that they are thoroughly damp, okay? We're going to dampen the whole thing mm -hmm. before we start pulling this. And I think we are nice and damp. Okay. Just going to, sometimes you want to wait like half a minute. 15 seconds or so before you start to pull. Nice, nice. So this is how much tension you should, and if it starts to stick anywhere, you're gonna stop. So here we go. I mentioned before that you need to be aware when you're applying water if you've exposed a panel, right? So I want to make sure that I'm damp enough over here. Oh, I right, don't right, want right, to right, right. smear. Don't I don't smear. want to get water here. So I'm just going to be aware of my edge. And keep it. You just want to keep that wet. Yeah, I just want to make sure that it doesn't um, dry. When it dries, it'll start to regrip cool. re a little bit. Yep. Once you get the hang of this, this may sound complicated, but really it's not. We're yeah. over explaining so that you guys are have the tools that you need to get the best finish. Okay, so but once you start playing with it, it's like anything else. You totally get the hang of it.
And the first thing you're going to do before you go on with a brush on sealer, in most cases, and you'll see on our 101 videos as well as our packaging, there's different ways to do it. But mm -hmm. our go to way right now is a diluted mix of water and your water based sealer. 50 50 or even more water than that depending mm -hmm. on the sealer how thick it is and you're going to put it in a nice fine mister bottle and you are going to do a couple of light coats all mm -hmm. over the surface this is a first gen we are putting this sheet on for the very first time and you can see that by the way the pattern is bold and unbroken i love there it there we it's go like magic Guys, this has been so much fun. Thank you for joining us. Super excited about this product. We hope you guys run out, grab some from your stock, and play. Who wants to play. try these now? Give guys. them a try. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Bye, you guys. Mwah.